we uh, basically believe that uh, uh, that everyone has uh, uh, some talent and uh, something interesting to make and uh, make in terms of music things stories stories uh and uh, uh, we are the perpetual middle people you know who uh, try and find the market for them interpret uh, for uh, find the audience for them and uh, sometimes create our own bit we live many many lives through all these people that's what we get that's what we that's how we learn from them because uh, we can play so many roles through them and we can be so many people through them so um, because we love diversity so since we can't live so many lives physically we can live them through many many different people there's an indian uh word for it it's called rasik which basically means uh, a person who loves uh, flavors mm -hmm. and uh, so we take as many flavors out of lives and life's processes as we can and, and we uh, hope to make new flavors that's the fun of it to just and so you combine and make yeah. new flavors and uh, and uh, so we hope to have uh, a dance of flavors in our lives and hope that we help other people create their own dance of flavors yeah and so far we've lived a really charmed life where we've been able to uh, enjoy ourselves in this way to learn and to make it financially sustainable at the same time which is a very rare thing but we've been able to do that everyone should be allowed the space or uh, in people who are living in tradition they should be allowed a negotiated modernity and so in that way we are playing at negotiated tradition yeah. that we are choosing the amount of tradition which we, we want yeah. you know so uh, so the, the i mean i could not live the traditional life that the women here live that's very clear i would not like that to be my life so basically the base word which is is negotiate negotiated yeah. you know so each one so the basically what we are saying is that there should be no overwhelming uh, secular force which de determines for anyone what kind of modernity they should want or, uh, or what kind of tradition which we want there are many many printers in the country who print but because they themselves have an understanding of what is unique about them they uh, they are extremely well known in the country and very well respected this village has come to be known only because of them. of them even though there are 40 other printer families in this village itself many of them who are printing but without the awareness of what they are doing and most of them are not doing natural dye but it's not something that they could not do they could it's something they could fairly easily go back to but there isn't that awareness of it so the fact that they have seen this much appreciation there's a story around them there's a uh, there's a narrative which they themselves are also aware of like you yourself said when you came here it was so different from going to other artisans because they had a sense of their own uniqueness and their uh, not only their their skill and where they came from their tradition i think like i said earlier to you that uh, the fact that we've been here and we've given that much importance i mean we've spent hours he spent hours recording from their grandfather what how their way used to be not just their ways of printing but their ways of life as itself so just that has given an uh, uh, self awareness yeah, self reflexivity to their own from uh, a life. distance they've been able to see their own lives from a distance so that has really helped them because raghunath had uh, 
I mean, one thing great about him was that he was able to see himself from an urban perspective also. 